Hey stamping friends, welcome to the joy of stamping with Rachel. I'm Rachel Kuhn and it's Fun Fold Friday. Today we're making a Christmas card using the Christmas Means More stamp set and we're doing a really fun and simple card that just has one extra score line and it makes it fun. Go ahead and hold live flip and we'll get started. All right. Let's get this nice in view for you guys. You see everything just right. This is the card we're making today. And it looks really normal, right? Just an ordinary card, just by looking at it. Has some extra DSP in this fun little die cut, but the saying is awesome. The fun part of this one is how you just add one score line and it changes the look completely. You ready for it? I'm gonna open it up and there you go. So it reminds me a lot of the slim line cards that are really popular right now. And all we do is add an extra score line right here and it makes it kind of look like a mini book. Can you see how that takes away that inch there? All right, let me go ahead and show you how we make this card. We are using the Christmas Means More stamp set, which is so fun. It has all these great sayings that come from classic movies. This is the one we're using today from a very awesome movie the best way to spread christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear um let me know if you know what movie that saying comes from i would love to see who knows that one all right i'm gonna use our foam mat today we're gonna go ahead and stamp first but i want to show you something really cool um this is a die cut that i'm using and it actually came from the hippo and friends dies they're in here just like that and they're all nestled together their shapes and for this one the way i figure out which size i need is i would take the case right here and the die that i use and i will line it up over it just like that to know if it will fit on our words would fit in within the die so that one works perfect i could slide it over and know that it would not fit its friend right next to it so that's my little extra tip for you today. Just use the front of the case and a die and lay over it to see if it will fit into the one that you need and know what size to use. All right, so here's our die right there. We're gonna go ahead and use Mossy Meadow today. And I have my foam mat underneath it just to give that little extra cushion since we're using the photopolymer. We'll ink it up really nice. Let me get this closer, there we go. And then I want mine to line up just about there. Make sure you guys comment if you're here today. One lucky person that comments will get today's card in the mail. I only have two more Fun Fold Fridays. I'll do Christmas and then we'll start a whole new theme to get ready for the upcoming year. All right, so we have that one stamped and ready to go. We'll take out our foam mat and let me show you our pieces of paper for this card. So we have a regular um, five and a half by eight and a half piece of cardstock, and I've scored it at a regular four and a quarter. And then I added just that one extra score line an inch over. So that makes it at the five and a half score line. When you put it in your trimmer this way, that's your four and a half. Move it one inch, five and a half, and score it. We also have our DSP, the heartwarming hugs, and this one measures at three by five and a quarter. A quarter and same with our whisper white exact same sizes and then our little DSP strip so when I cut this out I was able to make two cards from a 3 by 12 piece of paper and I was given this very tiny little piece left and I was like oh I don't want to just throw this piece away and that's why we're gonna put it inside of our card today all right let's go ahead and get our bone folder out and we're gonna first do our regular score crease just like that, that's our four and a quarter. And then we have this one right here, which is our five and a quarter. And we're gonna crease that one as well and kind of open it up. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab our seal. We're just gonna put one line of adhesive in between these two score lines. So you just roll that on like that, and then we're gonna close it. And that's it. That's how we make this awesome, easy, fun fold. All right, let's go ahead and add our DSP to the front and to our Whisper White to the inside. 
If you wanted to, you could always add like another strip of DSP right there, or you could even do like some ribbon right there. It would look really nice. I like to keep mine just plain for us today. Let's go ahead and glue on our DSP to the bottom. I'm gonna do the opposite. So this one has that for the front. I'm gonna use this for the inside. You can see it's a stripey just on the back of it. And we're gonna add that to the bottom of our white. There we go. And then we'll let's add some seal to this one as well. There we go. Remember, I like to use seal when I use Whisper White so I don't get any crazy glue lines. You won't see them. All right. Otherwise, you know I'm a Tombow girl and I use my liquid glue all the time. So we're almost done. All we have to do is add dimensionals to the back of this. And if you wanted to, you could totally embellish this. You could add bows, you could add um, rhinestones. I'm keeping this one very simple because we are getting closer to Christmas and if you have any last minute cards that you need to make and you have limited supplies, this would be a great one to do. You can make, let's see, six cards using this layout from a 12 by 12 piece of DSP, which is pretty awesome. All right, so that's today's card. Super simple, really easy, and a fun fold. And it really does look like a slim line, or maybe half of a slim line, with this style of a card. Before we say goodbye, I have to show you one really cool thing that just came in the mail today as an added bonus. It is so cute, so cute. This is my baby boss. He's just a little guy, and he's so cute. It's hard to tell in here of how little he is. So let me put him next to a card. I don't think I could even zoom out. But he is so little. So here's a card. I'm trying to give you a reference of how little he is. He's only about the same height of, as this card right next to us. I am so excited to use this. He's really light even. Um, and he opens up just like his the big boss does. Super exciting. I wanted to share that with you guys because it is my new favorite, my baby boss. All right, you guys, have a great weekend. Happy stamping, everyone. Goodbye.